Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Saturday and I rarely vlog on Saturdays, but I am in the mood, so <laughs> I'm about to make some food because I'm super hungry and then I definitely want to go to Target because I need a few things like toothpaste and I want to get some Valentine's Day stuff and just like random stuff that I need. Oh, and then also I want to put up the Teza collage kit in my garage kind of. I already showered. I did my full routine, you guys. I showered. I tanned my body. I'm in like this robe because... It's loose and I don't want to fuck up the tan. We Dyson air wrapped our hair, which I feel like I can never get the front pieces good. We're gonna let her fall out throughout the day. That's about it. So I thought I would vlog, um, but I'm in the middle of making, or I'm about to make the TikTok salmon rice bowl because I had the leftover salmon for my dinner last night and I have like all the stuff for it because I've been meaning to make it, but I just have never even made it. I'm the last one on the planet to do this, but we're gonna do it because I want to eat it for lunch. All right. I have the Trader Joe's rice and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. Easier than making rice in a pot. We have our salmon. I'm sharing this with Paige because since we're going to dinner, I don't wanna get like way too full because I also already had breakfast and I just don't want a whole thing to myself. I'd rather like have little things throughout the day. Maybe I should microwave it. I mean, she like microwaves it with the ice cube and everything, but since my rice is already gonna be cooked, I don't wanna cook it again. So we're just gonna warm up the salmon separately. In the meantime, we're gonna cut our avocado. I feel like a housewife right now with my little silk robe and my hair and that's like super big and like a fresh blowout looking like I just went to dry bar and the rice is done. I'm gonna microwave her. Mmm, nice and warm. All right, I'm gonna mash this up. Okay, we're gonna put half of that into the bowl. This doesn't look appetizing at all, but we're gonna make it cuter. All right, then she does soy sauce. We've got the mayo, we've got the cupie mayo. I got this on Amazon. Came in a packet too. I know Paige wants sriracha, so we'll put it, put it on hers. I'm gonna put mine on the side. We're gonna try the sriracha, but I don't know if I want like a shit. All right, then we got our seaweed snacks. So that is the finished. Mine doesn't have sriracha on it, but I'm gonna probably add some. I'm gonna give this to Paige and we're gonna taste test it and hopefully it's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's actually really good with the sriracha. It has to all be mixed together and it's like the perfect mix. Wow, it's actually really good. All right, Paige is trying it. Mm. She's dying her hair, so she doesn't want to be in it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I feel like mix it all together. The Kewpie is good. We're going to eat this now and then... Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is my chill ass outfit of the day. I am just about to head to Target and I just threw on some denim shorts and this hoodie. And hi, you know, like when I vlog. Also, I styled this little console table a little bit differently and it's really cute, I think. Got my essential oils. It smells really good in here. Speaking of scents. I want to put perfume on. I actually got some new perfumes from fragrance.com and I wanted to try one out today, like a new one, cause I don't know, I love trying new perfumes. So fragrance.com is sponsoring this video and they have thousands of authentic brand name beauty products for discounted prices. Everything's authentic. They've been in business since 1997. And these are the perfumes that I chose. This one's a little, I dented the box a little bit. Don't mind that. It was in my suitcase because I actually brought this to Cabo. I chose the Chloe perfume, which is an all-time favorite. I've actually used this one before. This is what it looks like. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's just one of my signature scents. It's just a classic. So I've definitely already tried that one, but these two are new. I got the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. I've heard really, really good things about that one. And I got a Jo Malone perfume, which I love Jo Malone products. This is the Lime Basil and Mandarin Orange. Okay, I think I'm gonna open this one up because I'm very curious to see what this smells like. I heard that it smells similar to a very expensive perfume and I wanna see if it's true. Also, I love Ariana Grande perfume, like they low key slap. This packaging is so cute. Ooh, I like it. I, I don't really know how to describe it. 
Mm, it smells like sweet, but like classy at the same time. Like it's not too young. Like you would expect her perfumes to be like super young. So yeah, love that. I'm super excited. I'm glad I got another one of these. This is my favorite perfume. So definitely check them out because like I said, very, very discounted prices and they have all your favorite perfumes that you could think of. So check them out. I will have the link down below and my code and everything to use. But yeah, let's go to Target. Definitely gonna need a cart. Oh wow. Oh, I thought they were like long stems, but that's They're so not. cute. All right, you guys, we made it to Target. It is very busy today, but I don't even care. I'm gonna vlog because Paige is with me. And it's a lot easier to vlog in public when you have You're a friend. Alone. We both need toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste. I don't know, I always get confused. Not this one. I think this one. Or is it this one? What's the difference? I always get so confused. Deeply clean white. mint, clean mint paste. This one deeply whitens up to four shades. And this <laughs> one gets off like surface stains. That one's like, this is like whitening. I'm gonna get two just because I like to have multiple so I don't have to come all the time. Okay, I'm gonna get some more coffee. This is my favorite coffee. Honestly, should I just get two more? I mean, you're here. We're here. <laughs> Let's get another one. Oh my god, the grays are already coming in. Wait, do I need this mat? I've never seen this before. Wait, it's like suede. I use it. I don't know. But I should, and like now that the gym's all cute, it would match the Tesla wall kit. And I don't have a suede one. I know. Wait, should I get these? Should I just fuck it up? I think for sure I want to get this. I just like have never seen a suede yoga mat. I'm really debating. If I need this, I kind of want it. I just feel like it would make my gym look so cute and all the weights, but they're pretty expensive. Like weights are hella expensive. So if I'm still thinking about this at the end of the trip, we'll come back. Maybe I'll give it a, a few days and then decide. If I'm still thinking about it, then you know it was meant to be. Those are cute. Those are cute. What are these? No. I kind of want to make like, I'm trying to make a cute little V-Day box. It's a small box and I already have a lot of stuff. So we just wanted, uh, I think, I got like boxers with my name on it. Oh, Or not my name. What am I trying to say? I got boxers with my face on it, yeah. Cute. All right, we got some double-sided tapes for the Tezza thing to hang the Tezza kit in the garage. in the home decor section. The best part, oh my God, look at these. These are kind of, I mean, they're just like, Target just does everything. But I really wanted to try to find these candles that I got that are super, super cute. They're so good. They should really make them all year round. Oh wait, I see them. Right here. Ooh, also, this is like a vibe. Whoa, this is heavy. These are, these are the ones I'm talking about. Oh. Like, cause once you take the lid off, I mean, the lid's so cute. But yeah. it's just like, I love that. And it just looks nice. You're coming home with me. <laughs> you can put a candle on it. Yeah, you can put like candle or like, like matches. Okay, this is the one that I have. The masala rose. I think those are all masala rose. I'm gonna get one small one and one big one. This lamp is really cute. Ooh, I like this chair too. All right, we're looking at all the Valentine's Day cards. And this one has such cute ones. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's really, really just cute and nice. Okay, we can load it now. Dark too bad. <laughs> So we're back from Target and I think I showed you guys everything that we got, but this is everything. Oh, I ended up getting these instead of the command ones because they were a little cheaper and these are just removable clear mounting squares, which I feel like are gonna work fine for putting up the Tezza collage, which I'm gonna do right now after I show you this. We got the candles. This is the Threshold Studio McGee brand. So I'm really, I'm hoping that they keep these at Target. 
Got some dog treat, um, toothpaste, wine, because tonight we're having a girl's dinner. We're going out to dinner. I'm gonna call it like a Valentine's Day dinner because, you know, it's all girls, close to Valentine's Day, and got some wine for that. Then I got the yoga mat. I ended up getting the heart-shaped Reese's to put in this box. I already have this box and this filling and stuff. And I'm just gonna make a cute little box for my boyfriend um, with various things in it. This is the card I got him. I'm still waiting on the rest of the stuff to come. Also gonna take like cute Polaroids to put in here. I'll show you guys when it's done, but yeah, that's what it's look looking like so far. Okay guys, we are in the garage slash gym and I just opened up my Tesla kit for the first time and I'm about to put them just all along the mirror at the top and then like down here. I probably won't have room for all of them because it comes with like 70-ish pieces of paper and I got the creamy kit, that's so cute. It's just like creamy neutrals and here's another one, I'll show you guys examples. I just think it's like cute inspiration while you're working out. So we're gonna put it up, see how it looks. Let's do it. So it's literally the next day because by the time we finished this, um, it was dark out and I wanted to show you guys in the daylight so you could really see how it looks. I think it turned out so good. I'll show you guys a little up close. I started doing them like very like on top of each other and then I realized when I got to the top like I could not like put it up properly because the measurements are off. So. I didn't realize like I'm supposed to do it messy. Well, I guess you can do it however you want, but I ended up just like layering them on top of each other and then like making it a little bit more messy, which turned out really, really nice like over here. I am obsessed. I love how I put this one here also, like when I'm on a treadmill, because it says out for a walk, so cute. I tried to put like ones that I really, really liked in front of the treadmill so that, I don't know, I get inspired. I really like the chandelier one. I think that's one of my favorites. But anyway, I think it turned out really good. All right, so let me give you guys a little tour of the gym. I feel like the gym, can I say it's done? Like this is the final reveal of my home gym. I mean, I mean, there's always things that you could probably add. I feel like this is good for me. This is a good amount of equipment for me. I don't need any like anything crazy. So, and it's cute. I think maybe this side of the garage like would benefit. I feel like it'd be more pleasing to look at through the mirror because right now all you see is boxes and I mean, it's half suitcases at this point, but I mean, at least it's a little bit clean. I stole these shoes from Adeline and never gave them back, but they're kind of like my outdoor, like putting out the garage shoes that I just keep in the garage. So thanks Adeline. Anyway, but yeah, I actually am getting rid of all these bags. They are filled with clothes for Goodwill and also in this corner is all my old hangers that I'm, I feel like, I could donate those also. But yeah, so I have to do that. There's quite a few of them. And then I have my ring light in here. So I feel like I could like use this when I'm working out somehow or like if I wanted to make, I don't know, any workout videos. I feel like that could come in handy. So I, I like to have it in here. And then this is stuff that I cleaned out of the, what's gonna be the glam room. And I'm kind of getting rid of all of it and donating it too, but it's just like house stuff. And then boxes and just trash that is gonna be thrown away this week. So that'll all be gone very, very soon. This is just like random, I don't know. I have Archie's, one of Archie's dog beds. I put it out here recently because as you can tell, he hates being alone. He's barking right now. So if I'm ever working out, he can just lounge here in his dog bed. He was actually sleeping in this when me and Paige were putting up the wall collage. So he really, really liked it. So that was good. Anyway, you guys have seen all this. It's not that exciting, but I put the new yoga mat out. It looks really cute. I still have the old one also. If anyone comes over and wants to work out with me, we can roll them both out and both have a mat. I think I've shown you guys all of this, but we have boxing gloves. We have a like little sweat band to put on your, around your waist and just like various ankle weights 
in there. Just like some more workout equipment on these two little stools that are really cute. All of the native deodorants. I got the new flavors, by the way, the Baked by, my, uh, baked by Melissa. They're really good. So that's like if anyone wants to use them while they're over and working out. Then these are just the weights that I have. I feel like maybe it would be nice to upgrade them because first of all, I'm never using the three pound weights. I feel like they're so little and it'd be really cute if I got like the matching ones. So I'm, I feel like I might go back to Target and get that weight rack because that would have been so cute in here. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this whole thing turned out. I honestly have more space. I thought like I would have too many photos to fill up the wall, but it turns out I barely had enough. But I feel like it's fine if that's blank, like I don't have to fill up the whole thing. But I just love it, it's so freaking cute. I have the TV on, we're watching The Bachelor. And I don't know, I feel like I don't put on the TV enough when I work out in here and I really should because it's just like a vibe to have things playing in the background and just makes it more alive in here, I guess. Then we have the workout bike. I love the, I love this thing so freaking much. Looks so good in here. Perfect little spot for it. Treadmill also. And then it is just so cute. Like I can't stop staring at it. I'm so obsessed. And like when you're on the treadmill, like you're just walking, you're kind of bored. The mirror doesn't go up all the way to like see yourself in the like face, which is kind of good because I look crazy when I'm on the treadmill. So, I mean, you can see your boobs. That's that's about it. And then it actually goes higher. But then you're like looking at, oh, you're looking at this girl's boobs. <laughs> or you're looking at like all these aesthetic photos. So just like better than a blank wall. And you can just stare off into the distance and it makes time go by a lot quicker. But yeah, I really, really like my treadmill too. And then got a little workout ball down here. Some more equipment over here. I, I kind of want to put something better here. I don't really know. Like this thing is shipping and not very cute. But now I don't really want to cover this stuff. So I don't I want to put this back where it was before but yeah let me know if you guys have any other ideas on what to put maybe like a mini fridge or something like a mini fridge with like waters or energy drinks would be kind of cute but i don't know if that's really necessary but if you guys have any other ideas on what i should put in here let me know but for now i really really like how it turned out and i'm glad i finally finished it happy monday guys i just wanted to come on here and end this vlog because i realized i never ended it yesterday and i'm about to send it to my editor so we're ending the vlog today i forgot to end it last time but i am pretty proud though i feel like my vlogs Archie, can you stop walking over my laptop? Thank you. Um, the, the vlogs have been pretty long. The last one was almost 30 minutes. Let me know if you guys like that. I personally do. I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys like vlogs more like closer to like 10 to 15 minutes or do you like 20 to 30 minute vlogs? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.